in America, we, we talk about parents that get overly involved with their athlete uh, when, they're, when they're playing. Uh, they want to come to practice every day. They want to talk to the coach all the time. They want to know why their, co their, their athlete isn't playing, their son or daughter isn't playing. And we've begun to call those people helicopter parents in America. And I think there's, there's some unfortunate things that happen there. Of course you want parents to be interested in the game. You want them to come and watch, but there's a time when they need to step aside and be parents and let the coach be the coach. Uh, let the coach coach their athlete. Um, and and there's, a, there's much more of a tendency for that, that especially that uh, 13, 14, year old, 15, 16 year old, they're at a point where they kind of want to put the parent aside anyway. So they, they need to learn to listen to the coach and the parent needs to understand that it's that that their athlete, their boy, their girl, needs to develop the ability to think for themselves, uh, protect themselves, and the parent doesn't need to protect that person all the time because they've got to grow up sometime. And I think that's unfortunate in America, and I hope it's not happening in Australia. But but I know that the trends are here for you guys to mimic a lot of times what happens in the U.S. and I think what's happened in the U.S. at the at the school level, middle school, high school, that these helicopter parents intimidate the coach and the coach then gets to worrying about giving out playing time instead of coaching the game of basketball. And I, think, I don't think that's healthy for the game. No. Is there any advice that you would have for coaches who find themselves in a position where they're dealing with helicopter parents? Well, I think I think the first thing they probably need to do is have a have a talk with the athlete and say to the athlete, "Hey, you know, I'm your coach. Um, you know, it sure be good if if you would let if your parents would let me coach you. Maybe the 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 athlete can go back and talk to the parents. But if that doesn't happen, then I'd say you probably ought to have a sit down with mom and dad or some sometimes it's uh, it's dads that get overly involved they've played a little of the sport or they they think they know a lot about it and you know it, it's time to have a, a maybe a sit down and say look let me coach your your athlete I've got their best interest at heart um, but let me be the coach don't you try to coach you support you be a support to your to your son or daughter, um, and and uh, like them when they do well, uh, grieve with them when they don't do well, uh, but but don't try to be the coach. Let me be the coach.